Hey, this is Mark Henry, author of Dancing with Energy, Healing Magic, and Mysticism, here to talk to you more about the occult and the paranormal. Well, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Angel Tarot, a review. Before I begin, as usual, I'm just going to go over some housekeeping things. Uh, in case you were unaware, I just released a new attunement in my attunement Etsy store, which is Mystical Perception. So if you are interested in uh, seeing beyond the veil when this energy is activated, uh, to see more beauty, truth, expand your awareness, then this is the attunement for you. It's part of a series. I've uh, recently released uh, mystical knowledge, mystical love, and mystical mind power. And at the moment, since I wanted to uh, commemorate their introduction to the world, I uh, actually have them at uh, a discounted price, kind of a sale. So if you're interested in uh, leveling up your magic, self-improvement, then I encourage you to check out my Etsy store of attunements. So I'll put a link in the description. So uh, on that note, let's go ahead and talk about today's uh, video. Uh, so, to, so today, as I said, we're going to be reviewing the Angel Tarot. Now, the Angel Tarot is like the Occult Tarot that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. Uh, is from Mr. Travis McHenry. And uh, just to kind of show you what it looks like. First, let's look at the box. Okay, here we go. So it starts out kind of when you receive it, Angel Tarot. So you see a lot of gold and you see a lot of white with um, shading, drawing. That's the front. So this is the back. The back, it kind of gives you a little bit of a description gives you an example of some of the cards that um, are illustrated in the deck. Now, the guidebook. Same thing, it kind of resembles the front of the box. Now this is a, a really good guidebook. It has about 106 pages and if you can kind of see it's well done goes through each card even go over some rituals that you might be interested in so let's talk about how that's organized so uh, they begin by going over the hierarchy of angels like the principalities the thrones uh, archangels, that sort of thing, as a kind of an introduction, uh, as a categorization. But essentially, what this deck is about is it about it's about the Shem angels, and we've talked we've talked about that in a previous video. So if you're interested in learning more about that, check that video out. Maybe five six weeks ago, I want to say. So uh, they talk about the hierarchy of angels. Uh, they also give you kind of some. Uh, a ritual on how to summon the angels, how to summon angels in general to give you a ritual. Um, but even not counting, I guess, apart from, you know, the pulling the cards and stuff because that's considered separate. So I guess that they kind of teach you the ritual just for the hell of it, um, or in this case, just for the heaven of it. But uh, then they go over uh, kind of, they talk a little bit about how to uh, summon the angels for the purposes of using this deck. It's it's not too complicated. There's kind of a, a, a long sort of uh, summoning, but uh, the writing is is pretty beautiful. So then they kind of talk about how to use the ritual in the cards for conjuration, kind of like the occult tarot. So if you wanted to try to contact these angels first for conversation or for magic in general, they teach you how to do that. And I also had to do it with in concert with the cards for 
divination, and that sort of thing. So it kind of offers um, a few different things in the guidebook on how to actually use the cards. Now, uh, the layout of the deck, of course, we're going to talk about the Shimham Forish Angels, which means the ineffable name or the nameless name. It's all part of the Kabbalah. It is 72 angels. So just like the Occult Tarot with the 72 Goetic Spirits, you know, I, I talked about in the last video about how there's 72 Goetic Spirits, which corresponds to the seven, 72 uh, Shim Angels. And the there's a Shim Angel for correspondence for each one for uh, ritual magic if you want to employ it in that fashion. So, but what Travis McHenry in both decks, and this one as well, is he makes it kind of the, in the traditional rider weight fashion of 78 cards. So if there's 72 of the Shem Angels, then what do you have left? Then he's included um, some Archangels. For example, you know, he included Michael. Okay. Now, um, one interesting thing that I realized going through this deck is how many modern day names that people are named after also correspond to uh, the Shem Angels. So the one obvious one, which is in the Old Testament, of course, is Daniel. Rochelle. And one that I've come across quite a bit for ladies, Ariel. So, if you have that name, you are um, you have the same name as some of these Shem angels. So, kind of thought that was neat. So, uh, let's talk about the cards and what's on them. So, we will use Michael as an example. Okay, let's see how clear we can get this. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but at the top, it says the chariot. That's the Rider Waite correspondence. If you want to kind of stick to traditional Rider Waite associations, he's the chariot. Chariot. Uh, below that, it's his name and. Slightly below, that is the meaning of the name. So it says, who is like God? And there's the image. Now in the bottom left, that is the summoning sigil. And the in the middle, the bottom middle, that is his uh, angelic office, his abilities. You know, perseverance, success, that sort of thing. And if you see that in the background, there is overlapping seals, and those are the same on each card. And there really is no explanation, because I looked as for what these in the background mean. It may help in the, I'm, I suspect it helps in the conjuration of these uh, Shim Angels when you're uh, working with them to assist with your divination or your, um, your contact. So, one thing I, I forgot to mention too, to the back of the card. And there's um, gold, of course. I don't know if you can see the, the edge. It's kind of hard to see, but the edges, take my word for it, are gold as well. So while the Occult Tarot had, you know, the box um, as being kind of dark and grays and things and reds, you know, the box and the cards of the Angel deck, of course, are a lot of white and gold. which uh, shouldn't be kind of any surprise. So what is my opinion of them? Well, I think that it has 
Good card stock. Very easy to handle. Um, I think that they would last you uh, a long time. Like I said, the cards aren't flimsy or anything like that. Uh, they, I would use them if you are even not someone who is intending to do this for divination at first. If you just want to know uh, who are the Shim Angels, what do they do, uh, what are their sigils as kind of a learning tool, I think that would be um, a really good way of, of learning. You know, we learn in school with flashcards and when we're little, with our multiplication tables and things like that. Or even when um, we're doing flashcards to regurgitate the information that we have to memorize for a test. So, but this is fun. This isn't school. So that's how, that's one way of using it. And of course, uh, as I mentioned before, you can um, use it as a focusing tool in order to uh, summon the Shim Angels to work with them. And I think that is about it. That is about it. So I hope that you are all having a good Sunday morning. And uh, please subscribe and like. I hope you like this video. And I will see you soon. I'll put a link in the description for the Etsy store and my Patreon and other things. So take care. Bye-bye.